Cool. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. One thing that's super important to mention is that this pack right now is in pre-alpha phase. But I was assured by one of the pack developers that most of the beginning content is finished. So be sure to smash like to keep the series going and subscribe so that you can find the channel again. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. So today what we're going to be working on is the sequenced assembly from Create. Uh, the first thing that I want to make, of course, is the rotation speed controller, which requires a precision mechanism. So this is the sequenced assembly from Create. This is actually pretty exciting. Um, a use for Create past the initial uh, excitement of water wheels and windmills and stuff. This is where I can see Create being put into expert mode packs for the sequenced assembly. I think this is a great idea. We need a rotation speed controller so that we can speed up all of our machines. Uh, because if any of y'all know, the crushing wheels, when you hook them up, they are way too slow. So the rotation speed controller will help that. And uh, we'll also work towards our expert mode recipe for coke brick so that we can get a coke oven going for coal coke. That one also is sequenced assembly. It requires paper to go through four deployers. Three of them have coke bricks, which come from coke brick blend, which comes from mixing basalt powder, cinder flour, clay, and water. And the cinder flour can only be made uh, by running netherrack through the crushing wheel. So we have to make the crushing wheel for this recipe. Basalt powder, of course, comes from basalt, but we can crush that with anything, even the pulverizer. And then the construction paste comes from pulverizing a dense construction block, which comes from a fluid encapsulator, water and construction block powder. But I'm assuming you could also just drop this in water to make this work, but then you'd have to mine it up again. So we're going to make the machine just to be bougie about it. The construction block powder is just clay, lapis and sand. So that's going to be pretty easy. It is nighttime, but that shouldn't matter too much. We'll be indoors. All right, so let's see if we can knock out some of these guys. The chute, iron plates, and andesite alloy. Let's see, induction smelter. I made some more andesite alloy. Uh, the metal press, I already ran some brass plates through. So let's see, the chute. Make that for the quest. The andesite tunnel. We can make that for the quest. The adjustable chain gear shift. We don't even have a la large cogwheel. Okay. Oh, wait. I do have all of the create stuff back here. Oh, no. I should sleep before sunrise to make the rain go away. All right. I forgot I moved all of the create stuff into this guy. So let's go ahead and take this with us. since I'm kind of moving the create stuff over here. If you noticed, between episodes, I moved the uh, vertical windmill to its own uh, pillar, its own windmill over here. And here we have our completed mixer. So let's go ahead and let's put it mm, here. Here seems good. And let's put another crafting table. There we go. All right. So we got our large cog wheels. We also have those in here, right? Yeah. So what are we missing? We need, we have the chute, the andesite tunnel. We need encased, we need andesite, shaft, and chain. All right, so chain. Missing iron? What? That was a major lag spike. All right, so all of our iron is coming out of the smeltery over here. This guy's running beautifully. So there's our iron. Okay. 
but we have our iron nuggets. We need eight pieces of chain. I also have an idea. We could use this as decoration too. We're missing shaft and andesite casing. Andesite casing. And we have shaft here. Let's go ahead and put this guy in here. All right. Encased chain drive. Electron tubes. We're going to need to sandpaper some rose quartz. All right. Let's go ahead and make some rose quartz. This will make eight. Perfect. Let's do eight. We'll also make some sandpaper out of sand and paper. Big surprise there. Sand and paper. Okay. And then if we put... Which one goes in our offhand? Yeah, like that. So we're using it as sandpaper to polish this, but it sounds more like we're eating it, right? There we go. Each sandpaper can make eight of these dudes. Uh, so we're out of... I used up all of the redstone. We need to grab some more redstone so we can make some torches. Alright, redstone. We got some sticks in here. We do. Alright, how many torches do you guys think? Let's just go straight up eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have the nuggets, right? To make eight electron tubes. Cool, that's a quest as well. Alright. And then we should be able to paste the chain drive. I just dropped that off, didn't I? One of the encased chain drives. Make our adjustable chain gear shift for the quest. Get rid of that. All right. We're down here with the deployer. So let's make some deployers now. All right, so I need four of these guys. So we need four brass hands. So let's go ahead and make the brass hands real quick. One, two, three, four of these guys, brass hands. And then let's see, we need more cogwheels. And can we make all four deployers? Perfect. That's all four of the deployers that we need. Let's check the quest book. I think they want sandpaper. And then they want us to do this challenge that has no reward. It's just automating the uh, creation of polished rose quartz. Another piece of sandpaper, okay. Yeah, there's our sandpaper. That gives us quest for the deployer. All right, all of our deployers, let's see. Precision mechanism needs three of them. Shaft, we need a brass casing. Go ahead and make brass casings. We need, really, polished wood planks from Eidolon. Okay, so we have our polished wood planks. We need to make the brass casing. So we need our brass. All right, we need a little bit more than that, right? Did I have any brass in here? No? Oh, I think I still have some brass in the press. The multi-servo press? No. I used all of my brass for the uh, deployers by accident. But we do need brass casings. All right, we need shaft. We need the precision mechanism. So now we should be able to set up the sequenced assembly for this with a gold plate. So we need three, four. We're going to go with, let's see, we have shaft. We need more shaft. We need the andesite alloy for more. There we go. And let's see, how are we going to set it up? I kind of want to set it up over here. And we also need belt. Did I bring belt with us? Yeah, we have mechanical belt as a quest reward. All right, so polished wood planks we no longer need because we only needed one 
craft of brass casings. I'll use it as a placeholder real quick. All right, so here by the vertical windmill, we're going to go with, let's go here, one. And then I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six in between. So we'll put a shaft here, shaft here. And now we can hit mechanical belt to there. Cool. All right. Here. We need to set up, let's see, rotational force will come up underground, I have a pipe, so it'll come up here to rotate this guy. All right, let's put some placeholders down. This one's going to be blank. One, two, three, four placeholders. All right, actually, I don't think we need placeholders when we're putting down deployers. So let's see here. Yeah. Okay. So we don't need placeholders. We're going to go with four deployers and we're only going to use three of them there like this. Oh, that guy went onto the belt. Haha. <laughs> cool. So three deployers for right now, rotational force will come up here and feed the back of these guys. Did I bring my hoppers with me? I brought a chute. And yeah, we have hoppers. So let's see, this should work. We feed it in the front like this. What do we need for the rotation speed controller? We need cogwheels and it needs to go through five times. So we need five cogwheels, five iron nuggets. Five of these dudes, nice. Five of these dudes and Awesome. Five of these guys. Okay, so first one's going to be cogwheels. Small ones. Second one's going to be large ones. Third one's going to be iron nuggets. All right. And they went into the hands, so that's working. We need... Let's see. Can hoppers eject onto a mechanical belt? Or should I just use the chute? Oops. Hopper. Shoot, I mean. Uh, doesn't look right. Let's try hopper and see. I put... Yeah, it does. Cool. So it'll drop it on there. Come on. There we go. And for the fun, we'll put a shoot on top of this. There we go. That looks a little cooler. Yeah, I like that. All right. Uh, we also... Let's also make a weighted ejector. I'm curious about this guy. We need gold plate. We need a depot. We need andesite. Casing. So let's go with... A depot. Oh, that's a quest. We need gold plate. We need weighted ejector. So we need that cogwheel that we lost. There we go. Weighted ejector. Neat. And let's see, how do I angle this guy? I want him to... It needs to be connected. Yeah, there we go. Ejecting to adjacent block. All right. So what we need to do is we need to click its exit point before putting it down. So we're going to shift right click here. Nice. Okay, yeah, cool. So we we have to shift right click with the unit in hand. And we'll put it there. Because I wanted to eject from here into the chute. Also, I need to make a brass tunnel. So we need electron tubes, brass, and kelp. All right, brass tunnel. And let's put the brass tunnel here. Cool. And then we need a filter so that it will put what we want into a chest. Will that work? Is that that looks a little too high, doesn't it? Let's see. We can get rid of one of these chests real quick. Put the 
chest on the end. Can I still reach the filter? Yeah, I can reach the filter. And what do we need for the filter? We need wool and iron nuggets. So let's go grab some wool real quick. And I have a feeling we're not going to be able to set the filter until we have uh, one of the items come through for the sequenced assembly. Right click, yeah. Deny list, respect data. Can we just blacklist everything for right now? Let's go. We need a precision mechanism. Let's see if we can drag it. We can, okay, cool. So there's our filter for the precision mechanism. Put that guy here. So only the precision mechanism will be able to come through. All right, now we need just need to give all of this power. So let's see if we can get rotational force going. Here and down. One, two, three. There we go. So we're going to break here. We're going to set up... Let's see. We need a horizontal. We need a vertical. That's two. Another vertical. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Eight. Nine. We need nine of them. Right. Gearbox. It says axe. Did it break it? I guess the matic doesn't count as an axe. Let's grab the shaft. So we can go one, two, yeah, and then we need to go up. All right, so this spot needs to be a vertical. Vertical. Oh, and depth perception fail. Okay, so it needs an axe. Let's just use the wrench. All right. Vertical. There we go. Shaft. Another vertical. And let's get rid of this item. Vertical. Okay. So now we have the belt moving. We're going to need to go up one. And a horizontal. Dude, these flies. Horizontal. So no, it needs to be another vertical. Vertical. All right. Shaft. These guys need to be horizontal. Horizontal. Turning. Horizontal. Horizontal. Shaft. Shaft. Or wait, does that count? It does turn... Yeah, it's turning this one. Okay, cool, yeah. So we don't need to attach it to the other side. Because this side, since it's turning the belt, the belt is turning this shaft. Cool. So we can save a little bit. I might still make it look symmetrical, though. So there we have that. And the rotation speed controller. Before I do this, let me check one thing. It needs to go through five times. And a gold plate. So let's see. Gold.
<laughs> one, two, three, boing, yay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. One, two. It's so slow, but like the whole point to this is we we have to do it like this. <laughs> we have to do it like this so that we can uh, make the rotation speed controller, which will allow us to do this faster, of course. But this is beyond cool to me. I know, I know the weighted uh, ejector is programmed to always make it, <laughs> but there's part of me that thinks it's going to miss. I really hope that uh, updated versions of uh, Create are not going to change the weighted ejector to have like a 99% a chance to make it. <laughs> nice. It's like, it doesn't just disappear. It looks like it hits the edges and falls in, too. There we go. And let's see if it filter works. No, the filter didn't work. Will it? It won't break it, will it? No, it just stops. Oh, cool, it stops there. But I was really hoping that this filter was going to... Whoa! Okay, I forgot that it can also launch the player if you step on it. One over. There. Oh, I hit the side with brass casing. Oops. There we go. Should I? Yeah. One thing I'm really glad is that it doesn't use up the brass casing when uh, you click on it. It just changes the aesthetic look to it. All right, so let's make this rotation speed controller. There we go. And I believe we can, yeah, let's grab all of our quest rewards. Let's grab them all at the same time. Uh, well, mistakes were made. Okay, so we can set these up high. And we're going to do, there they are, like this, and I guess we can make it a brass funnel so that it matches. One of these dudes, oh, we have them in our inventory already. We need two pieces of brass and dried kelp, dried kelp, two pieces of brass, brass funnel. And can we attach it? that yeah i wonder if that is enough room i used the precision assembler already to make the rotation speed controller that should work though right that looks like it's supposed to be like that let me see if this works because i saw different colored conveyor belts yeah boy purple that is cool. I like this a lot. Like, I'm getting too excited about this, right? Lashmac would be would be proud with the purple conveyor belt. Also, it doesn't use the the die. Just the, the same way as dyeing the sails doesn't use the die. I like that. All right, so let's set up one more rotation speed controller for next time's crushing wheels. Should be able to... Make this guy faster now. Let's see. 16. 15, 20. Let's go. Go 44. How fast can you go? 90. <laughs> 100 
50. Let's try 150 and see how silly it is first. Alright, so cogwheels. Large cogwheels. Iron nuggets. Go ahead and sleep. Get rid of the rain real quick. Alright. Let's see how silly this is. Alright, and it went through the funnel and into our large chest. Perfect! So 150 seems like a good speed. We could go... Like, I was hoping it was going to be kind of ridiculous. It does look like it's spinning kind of ridiculous. I wonder what its max speed is. 256. Should we try out 256? Wheel, wheel, five. Hand to sight, buttons. Five, five, five. And we need one more gold plate. Alright, max speed 256. Large. Iron. Oh. Cool. Two precision mechanisms. So it looks like, even though this wheel is kind of going crazy, I think uh, 256 is fine. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv ddanicus. The VODs will be saved there.